Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today I have for you guys an updated Primal Groudon EX deck. Now, uh, I, I did have a Primal Groudon EX deck on my channel before. Um, and that was really early when it first came out. And I thought I'd come and uh, revisit Primal Groudon. The barrier trait is always really good. Of course, in Ancient Origins, there is the secret rare one where you can have uh, double the uh, um, uh, tool cards. But uh, the barrier trait here is just that awesome that... Uh, yeah, I just can't, um, yeah. Anyways, so, uh, we have seen, uh, Primal Groudon teamed up with Wobbuffet, so I decided, yeah, actually Wobbuffet's really good, actually, uh, Pro uh, Groudon, Primal Groudon and Wobbuffet makes a great team up, um, but I thought I'd throw in Jinx and have a little bit of a healing, uh, you know, uh, attitude to it you know just kind of heal off damage and so uh we're gonna be adding in a uh, super potion a card that hardly sees any play but it actually works in this kind of deck because super potion uh it takes off an energy and you can always mega turbo the energy back there you go that's kind of neat um and that way we can keep primal grout on in tip top shape and uh and then we can combine it with focus sash and that way uh, Primal Groudon would always be at max HP and just be a big tank. 240 damage is quite a bit. Um, of course, if you're playing Genesect EX and you have a muscle band, you do Mega Low Cannon and, you know, we're weak against grass, that'd be a one-hit knockout. But with Focus Slash here, we can actually try to pull off and survive. Um, yeah, it wouldn't work so well against Whale Lord EX being, uh, you know, grass, uh, you know, weak anyways. But uh, that's a whole other story. Anyways, uh, Primal Groudon EX is the 240 HP fighting type Pokemon. As already mentioned, uh, it's a Primal Reversion. It's basically a Mega uh, Evolution. Primal Reversion rule, Mega Evolution rule. Uh, the barrier trait here uh, basically uh, nullifies all effects of trainer cards, excluding stadiums and tools. Uh, meaning if your opponent had a uh, hard charm, it'll still work on this guy. Uh, but if your opponent plays Lysander or uh, something like Hypnotoxic Laser, it wouldn't work. Uh, hammers wouldn't work. None of that. Anyways, Gaia Volcano is a really potent attack. Uh, hit for 100 damage uh, base. And then if there's a stadium in, in play, you can actually for 100 more. And then you discard that stadium card. That means you're doing 200 damage, which is insane and very incredible. Um... We do that. And the other Pokemon here is Jinx. Victory Kiss uh, can heal 10. All right, so we got four of these on your bench. You can actually heal 40 damage a turn. Pretty impressive. Uh, we do have Computer Search as the expected choice. Discard two cards and search for any card. You got Mega Turbo. Can put energy in the discard pile back into your Pokemon. You got Professor's Letter to search for any two basic energy cards. You got Super Potion, three of these. Heal 60 damage to and you have to remove an energy card. You got the Switch, got three of these because, you know, Primal Groudon is really heavy. Three Ultra Balls, and we got the uh, VS Seekers, four of these. Uh, Colras, and then, of course, we got to have Karina since this is a fighting deck. Uh, we got Lysander here as well. N, and then Juniper. Uh, that's it for the supporters. Take a look at the stadiums. Got a variety of stadiums. Well, just two actually. We got Scorch Earth and then the Silent Lab. Three Scorch Earth and two Silent Lab. Uh, the Silent Lab here in particular uh, would actually help us a little bit uh, in case if we run into Sigilyph or Suicune. Now, this would actually negate Jinx's Victory Kiss, but hey, it's a trade-off that we're willing to do uh, because if we have this here anyways, Silent Lab to block um, Sigilyph and Suicune, we just got two of these and... Uh, we can basically one-shot them easily. We'll, we'll be hitting 200 anyways. Uh, we got the Focus Sash here, as already mentioned. And then we do have uh, four strong energies and the rest energies here. Eight of those. That's it for the deck. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, hey, we're going to be playing against Pokemaniac193. I saw Fairy Energy in there. My opponent had the advantage, and it looks like my opponent uh, went for heads, and indeed it was heads. My opponent is going to be going first. We start off with a Groudon EX. We even get the Primal Groudon right here. Uh, no use for a Mega Turbo just yet. We got a Switch here. That's not going to be too necessary. We even have a Super Potion. Uh, hmm... Well, what we're going to do for sure is probably just play the energy. And, oh, ooh, we see a Togepi, we see a Victini. Not sure what my opponent is playing, but we will find out. Now, the problem with this deck is that we don't play Shaman EX, nor do we play Jirachi EX. So that means this Ultra Ball here won't be able to go for uh, anything like that. And we'll just kind of search for a Jinx, maybe. Uh, that's about all I can do. My opponent can do a me first in the next turn. Oh, we see a Sharon. Uh, the Furfru here uh, can do a tight jaw. We got a sharp fang. Uh, very vicious poodle. Uh, don't want to mess with that. Now, who? if you're watching this video and you own a poodle, um, you should nickname your poodle to uh, Furfru. Uh, that'd be great. Anyways, uh, we see here my opponent with an energy drop on Victini. Uh, we'll see a draw, a card, uh, me first in the next turn perhaps. Or we actually see my opponent go for a Cybolt. You never know. Um, 
I'm just going to go with that. I, I really need to go with the end right there. Uh, and that's about it. Um, I'm just going to end the turn. This, I, I'm really curious what kind of deck my opponent's playing. We see, uh, uh, looks like just Fire and Fairy with Colorless. Now, I'm wondering, is this even a competitive deck at all? You know, you never know what you do, what you, what you run into. And I believe my opponent had the advantage, right? If we rewind the video, I thought my opponent had the advantage. Um Pretty sure my opponent did. Unless it was just me and no one had the advantage and apparently, uh, the, I don't know. So, I'm not sure how the pairing was set up, but uh, we got paired with Pokemaniac193. And my opponent right now missed on the Crushing Hammer. Thank goodness. We will Primal Evolve right now with the Karina. And I'll probably just go Karina for Professor's Letter, get some more energies out there. And, oh my goodness, no, please, no. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You... Ah, ah, I hate these hammers, man. Just You just wait until I get my primal Groudon. You just wait. You just wait. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, I'm getting upset here because, uh, you know, primal Groudon, here we go. Give me my stinking... Uh, oh, what? Where's my professor's letter? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Gosh, that's terrible. All right, fine. We're going to go the slow route anyways. Okay. And we will Primal Evolve. Take that! Why don't you fear in my awesome Primal Groudon, you silly, small, legendary, victory, victini, Pokemon thing. Oh, man. These Crushing Hammers. Oh, I hate Crushing Hammers. Who here hates Crushing Hammers? Raise your hand. Too bad I can't see you. Raise your hand because, you know, Cyber World. Anyways, uh, we see a Wally here. Uh, the Togepi could evolve right now. And then we can still see a Togekiss. And uh, that could actually power up my opponent's bench, uh, bringing in more energy cards. Uh, but you never know. What if my opponent, all my opponents, uh, you know, oh, never mind. I was able to get the uh, Toga tick here. Anyways, uh, I was really hoping my opponent misses on that. Maybe all of them are prized or something like that. That'd be really funny. Uh, and there we go. We get hit for 20. And oh, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, man. Ah, oh, shucks. Ah, dang it. Why, why did I get that anyways? Oh, that's silly. Okay, so here we go. We'll get this right here. And uh, let's see here. Let's do that. All right. Um, probably start discarding. I'm going to discard these guys. Uh, get this Jinx out here. And uh, yay, Victor his Yay. Okay. All right. So that's it. Uh, I should have done that last turn, man. This, this Mega Turbo is totally useless. Totally forgot that it only works for basics. How did I forget that? Ah, okay, uh, so we get hit for 20 again, and thank goodness that doesn't really matter. It's going to take four turns. Four turns here, folks. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do that just to use this, and, um, you know, we're going to play it really slow, I think. No, 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 we're just going to go for an end, and, and it is. Okay, there we go. Um, well... Can activate the stadium at least. Okay, so there we go. Uh, yeah, we we'll just <laughs> primal involved. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? We just can't get anything we need. Thank goodness. Uh, oh, well, Toga Kiss right here, and man, this is ridiculous. What's going on? Uh, this deck was this deck that clunky that I can't really pull anything off right now. Uh, what well, doesn't really matter. I was able to heal everything off anyways. My opponent can still uh, continue to damage us. We see a evil soda probably going for the Buneri. That's the only other thing that can evolve here. Or actually, the Togekiss can still come out. Uh, but uh, I guess... Uh, oh, never mind. There, there's the Togekiss. Ah, too bad. This card here, the Serene Grace, does not work. Uh, you did not play that correctly, ma'am. Um, lady? Person? You never know that person playing you with the woman female avatar it could be a guy so um anyways we got this uh delta evolution here my opponent didn't even use that since my opponent went for a evil soda and so the ability screen grace was in no effect uh couldn't look at the top eight cards of her his or her deck whatever and uh couldn't see any of those basic energies to power up the uh token kiss here never mind the token kiss is fully powered anyways being able to hit for 60 and here we go we get hit and we are paralyzed Wow. All right. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead. I'm going to go with this right there. And we got a lot of things that um, I, I want to hang on. Uh, but uh, all right, let's just go for that victory kiss. I'm actually going to go for a Karina. And uh, let's go ahead. We'll grab this right here. And uh, why not, right? Why not? Um, 
wait, let's see. Oh, hey, I can actually grab. Ah, finally, I can grab a Mega Turbo. There it is. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, in the next turn, ideally, I should be able to attack. Uh, if my opponent paralyzes us again, we can switch switch twice and then play the Juniper. And hopefully, we get another Energy card or a Mega Turbo for that matter. Uh, here is a low punny. Okay, that's pretty punny. Uh, no, not really. Uh, but my opponent drops down a DC on the low punny. This is probably the boringest, uh, slowest match I've ever de dealt with. And, uh, alright, well, the Primal Groudon is going to be ready to go. I mean, we got the Jinx here, ready to heal. Here's a Hard Charm over there. I mean, ah, ooh, a t t Epic shows up. We do see an Embor down here in the discard pile, but... I don't know. This this deck seems like a hodgepodge of a deck, and my opponent fails on that, anyways. And uh, well, might as well let's go with that. And um, hmm, yeah, I'm just gonna say, forget it. Victory kiss, take that. All right, get out of here, Victini. Get out of here. I don't want to see you. All right, so we got rid of that. That's great. Um, my opponent here can can hit us for 60, but we'll just heal that off. Can heal half of that. Well, actually, got 10 damage on here. I mean, we're looking really good. The little ponies here are going to get destroyed since they are fighting weak. And the little pony does show up, so we can see a kick away. Um, but um, it's a shame so many of our switches are already in the discard pile. Uh, no, we're going to see a kick away. And that's no good. But, hey, we're just going to promote that Jinx anyways. And let's go with this. Um, I'm going to play that. And go with the Colorus. Uh, we do get this energy here. I'm just going to retreat into here. And let's go for the Victory Kisses all around here, folks. And the Muscle Band there to boot. All right, Gaia Volcano hitting for 480 damage. Wow. Um, that was fun. Okay, next. All right, we see Togekiss out here, and Togekiss can hit us for a Fairy Wind, and that makes me feel very warm and fuzzy. Um, fairies, uh, like, no, never mind. I, 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 okay, anyways, uh, we will get it for 60. I can heal half of that. Um, uh, we can actually heal most of it, really, if I had something like a uh, Max Potion. Um but yeah, let's just go for this Colorus again. I don't know. I'm just having fun here. And we can even go with the Silent Lab. And hey, Mega Turbo. Perfect. Look at that. We'll just play this right there. And we'll then heal this off. And what is this? Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And Guy Volcano hitting this guy. 220 damage. Totally unnecessary. Uh, but uh, we'll get rid of him anyways. And so... Uh, the Pig Knight can come out. The Fur Fruit can come out. Uh, n none of it matters. Uh, we'll just kind of just go through and plow our way. So, I don't know. There's some, you know, I, I think this deck yeah, can definitely use some help. Uh, but uh, the Crushing Hammer doesn't work. It wouldn't work anyways if my opponent flipped heads. Uh, since the uh, uh, barrier trait here is so awesome. Um see Buneri over there. We see a Charmander. My opponent really seriously has a hodgepodge of a deck. And, uh, well, I, I think it's basically going to be over here. I'm just going to go ahead and heal a Victory Kiss. Just go for the 140. No need for no need for the Scorched Earth. I mean, probably could use it. But uh, for the Fur Fruit, I'll use it. I want to see, you know, more <laughs> intense intensity. Uh, so we have one strong energy here. Uh, two over there. And I think one's already in the discard pile. Oh, yep, there it is. That was from that was from those stinking ah, crushing hammers. Okay, well, um, should be able to just uh, destroy this furfu here. I'm gonna play the stadium for the heck of it, and uh, and yep, that is 480 damage. Oh, all right, we can actually primal evolve if we really wanted to, but um, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, shucks. We li we did lose a lot of our, um, uh, what do you call it, our, our switches and stuff. So, one way my opponent can actually win right now is, um, is to bring out this, this, uh, Groudon EX, Lysander this one out. And then my opponent can essentially just keep it stuck there in the active spot. I wouldn't be able to attack. And then I would just deck out somehow, I guess. Uh, because most of my energies are already invested into this Groudon and this one right here. So, uh, we got one, two energies, three energies in the discard pile. And that's already one, two, three Mega Turbos. So, we can get one 
uh, mega, you know, one energy back from the discard pile if we really need to, but, uh, and that's gonna be it anyways, doesn't really matter at this point, I'm just gonna play this here, and Gaia Volcano hit 440 damage, knocking out the Charmander, and that's it, we'll take the win, and, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, um, uh, yeah, wow, 1,700 damage. Oh, okay, well we healed 220, and my opponent dealt 220, and we healed everything. <laughs> it is fantastic. Oh wow, my opponent flipped five and four. We didn't need to flip anything. And uh, hey, what a game, huh? Nah, not really. That was kind of dull and kind of boring. Uh, I will probably play another one. All right, and we're gonna be playing against Chaos Jim. And uh, I thought I saw uh, Lightning, uh, Psychic, and Colorless. I'm not positive what that could be, but we'll have to find out. Anyways, we end up mulling again a number of times. And we start off with a Jinx. Oh my gosh. Of all cards, we get a Jinx. Okay, so at least we get to go first. We can end my opponent down to six again. Make it a little bit more fair. Uh, unless my opponent has a ton of basics that she, she he, somebody plays and puts onto the bench. Um... Uh, we see the uh, Garchomp sleeves. That's kind of cool. Oh my goodness! Someone's got what is this? Uh, eight cards. Oh, it is a Manectric deck. That is fascinating. Okay. Um, do I actually want to play an N? I kind of don't. Um, I'm just gonna go with this. Uh, yeah, I actually feel pretty good about this. Um, who cares if my opponent has a bunch of cards? We're gonna go this route right here, and that's it. So my opponent can hit us for a, an overrun, uh, but I'll just seal the damage off, and then I can play an N, uh, and then hopefully Mega or Primal evolve. That would be just great. Um, all right, so let's see here. The Manectric EX2, Manectric 1 Full Art. We see a Rough Seas. All right. Um, I don't actually need to counter that just yet because I'm not really attacking, you know. Um, I mean, I could actually attack. I could actually do a Rip Claw if I really wanted to. Hit for 60. Uh, we don't have Muscle Band, so I wouldn't be able to, to boost that up by anything. Oh, here. Oh, no. Not a Shrubbish. There goes our Jinx. Oh, that's pretty useless. Anyways, uh, okay. The Overrun is going to be in full effect. Oh, there is a Shaman EX. And, uh, well, all right. So, Shaman EX here was able to help my opponent draw onto some more cards. Uh, my opponent did get a bunch of Pokemon. Oh, no, not a Float Stone. Ah, goodness. Here's a VS Seeker. Could go for an N. And, yep, my opponent's going to play an N anyway. So, my opponent did N us, which is not too bad. Um, if we can Lysander out the Trubbish and take it, take, just got to take care of this Trubbish. My opponent's going to hit us for an Assault Laser, which is okay. Um, all right, so here's the plan. All right, uh, we got to do a couple different things. Um... Uh, I think I'll have at least one of these backed up, and uh, I'm gonna go and let's get another Jinx going right here. We gotta play these while we still can, and heal and heal. And do we have um, a professor's letter? We do. Perfect. All right. So um, I'm gonna go ahead. We'll get the professor's letter going. I gotta get these energy drops right here. And we will Primal Evolve. In the next turn, we can actually play a Computer Search for... Uh, we're going to discard this and something else. And then we can actually get the... Um, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call it? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't... Uh, the Mega Turbo. And play the Juniper. And then play an Energy Down. And then we should be able to knock out the Mega Manic Trick in one shot. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, hopefully, even if my opponent gets a Garbodor in, in, into play, not too concerned. Uh, not concerned at all. Uh, we can just kind of... Uh, just really take these guys down. I mean, just take down these Manectrics one after another. Uh, I mean, or just take down this Garvador too. Uh, my opponent plays a Juniper here, discarding two Lightning Energies. My opponent's going to be able to uh, try to get that uh, Spirit Link going and then uh, make it evolve. The, the Mega Manectric can power up the Manectric EX on the bench. I think that's my, my opponent's plan. Uh, hopefully nothing happens. Okay, that is great. And... Uh, oh, man. Well... Uh, we gotta do what we gotta do, uh, and sadly enough, we to to be able to attack this turn, we have to do we have to go this route, uh, at least attempt this route. And uh, let's take a look and see. So here's that Mega Turbo. All right, so here we go, and we'll play the Juniper. Yes, and we're able to get this here. And let's go for the Gaia Volcano, knocking out 400 damage, knocking out the Mega Manectric, and we do get another Jinx here. So we really need to get rid of this Garbodor here. Uh, again, my opponent can actually power up 
the Minectric EX here and Mega Evolve right now, and we really wouldn't be able to he to heal much. Um, yeah, really, yeah. So uh, there was a fly in the room that I'm recording in, and uh, I have no idea where that fly went. That was really annoying. Anyways, uh, okay, so we see the Minectric EX with the Spirit Link. Could see a Mega Evolve right here, and yes, we do. Um, I'm not too worried. I mean, if my opponent even hits us... Uh, oh, no, my opponent can go for a Lysander uh, or an N. Actually, my opponent's going to end us. Which is okay too, I don't really mind that. As long as we get a stadium, we can knock out the Manectric EX in one shot. My opponent plays an end, and we get two stadiums anyways. We even get an energy here. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, perfect. Uh, we can even play this for the Juniper, and uh, or not. Really, we don't even need to. Um, yeah, we really don't. Uh, because I got two stadiums here. Why not use the stadiums to you know just kind of get rid of all these Pokemon? So my opponent's going to hit us for a ton of damage. Uh, and we won't be able to heal. Uh, that is kind of a problem. At the same time, that's okay too. So, um, all right. So, if we really want to optimize everything here, I, I can play these Scorched Earth, discard this energy, uh, and kind of go on from there. Oh, we get a Colrus. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, man. Uh, let's just go with that. And Colrus it is. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. Um,. All right, so I'm going to do this right here, and we will max potion this off, and what is it? Get rid of one of these. Um, all right, so this Mew, Mewtwo you actually shouldn't be able to knock us out. Uh, we got four energies, four, six, 120. We should be able to survive the turn, and we'll knock out this Manectric EX here in one shot. So here we go, and 440 damage. Ridiculous. Come out, Mewtwo. Come out and play. I'll just knock you out. Oh, never mind. My opponent promotes the Garbodor instead. Um, so again, if we get another, uh, uh, super potion, we actually heal some more off of this primal guard on EX, but, uh, I would love to knock out this Garbodor, but it wouldn't really matter. I, I, if I just knock out this Mewtwo EX, that'd be really great too. So, uh, my opponent here really needs to choose. Oh, no, a DCE. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a little bit short. My opponent needs to get the muscle band, uh, to knock out this primal Groudon. The, the Garbodor here definitely came out um, to play, uh, for sure. Uh, and it was really able to help us out here. Um, or not, not help us out, help my opponent out uh, and really put us at a disadvantage. But, um, yeah, this is perfect. So, you know what? We're just going to do this. Um, I'm just going to knock out this Trubbish. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to play this here and we'll just heal this off some more. And. There we go. We'll go with that. We even go for a Mega Turbo. Why not? And uh, I don't even need to play an N really. But uh, let's just go for the Gaia Volcano, hitting for the uh, huge 140, knocking out that Trubbish. And we do have a Primal Groudon here ready to go, uh, which might end up just Primal evolving for the heck of it. Uh, this Mewtwo EX is really trying to take us out. And one, two, hitting us for 200. That's not enough. We'll play this right here, and it's GG. Hitting for 240 damage. Taking the victory. Pretty convincing victory there by Primal Groudon. Just a huge tank. And uh, with those Super Potions, really helped. Uh, Super Potion and Mega Turbo made for a huge combination. So... Anyways, hopefully this second matchup was more entertaining for you guys. Look at that. We were able to hit for uh, 1,220 damage. We still healed uh, 140. Probably could have healed more if we had those Jinx available to us, but, you know, whatever. My opponent's uh, MVP was Mewtwo EX. was able to put in 200 damage. Put in a lot of work. Uh, but because all that healing from the max, uh, not max potions, the super potions, it made a huge difference. And, um, you know, with even with um, Mega Turbo and stuff like that, it really worked out well. So, what do you guys think of this deck? I know that first match I kind of ran into was just kind of a, you know, ho-hum. Uh, but the second match was a little bit more competitive, seeing uh, more EXs and Mega e e Evolutions and things like that. Uh, pretty exciting matchup. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if uh, there's that fly again. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for uh, supporting this channel and enjoying the content here, and uh, yeah, so if you guys uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, you guys take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.